Final Fantasy VII Remake has a lot to live up to for most. Most either know it from the original classic PS1 game or some of its many ports, and others know it from this remake's eventual E3 announcement in 2015 and the long-running hype surrounding it, with the game finally coming out next month after an almost five-year wait. As for me, I've always had Final Fantasy VII on my mental list of important JRPGs I need to try someday, and this remake's gorgeous visual style made doing that much more appealing, so I have had to try this demo. And I can say now, after seeing its beautiful scenes and visual style in action mixed with quick and varied combat, playing with it has only added to my excitement about picking it up. So however you feel this remake will be, this little slice of the game in demo form should give you an idea of how you feel about the new combat and the game's new look. And so far for me, it's only solidified that this is a game I definitely want to get. If you're like me and haven't played Final Fantasy VII before, this demo is very much only a small glimpse into Final Fantasy VII's world with some cinematic flair. But if you know some basics of the world, you can kind of follow what's going on. The demo's story basically follows a mission with the group Avalanche infiltrating one of Shinra Electric Company's Mako reactors that is sucking Mako from the world, with Avalanche bringing on the help of protagonist Cloud to help them in a bombing mission, and the mission sees you going through various obstacles that brings in combat and a few different exploration styles as you make your way to its boss battle climax. Within the first five minutes of the demo, it lets you get your hands on its action combat, with the demo showing off the normal, easy, and classic modes so you can see which one you want to play with. Normal mode shows off the action combat in all its glory with the most challenge, which gave plenty of chance to play with things like filling the ATB gauge by attacking, using magic to take advantage of enemy weaknesses, and even unleashing special attacks like limit breaks that together make for a pretty fun and varied combat experience. The quick base action combat felt good and responsive, and actually reminded me a bit of Kingdom Hearts' combat, especially with how you can shortcut abilities to make battle flow smoothly, with things only stopping when you need to use something targeted. And its boss battle at the end needed me to take advantage of all its parts, from items to blocking, that took away any concerns that this would just be an action RPG where you only hit attack, as skills and timing definitely play a part in completing battles well. It definitely feels like an upgrade to more recent Final Fantasy action systems. If you're hoping for something closer to the original Final Fantasy VII's turn-based combat, the classic mode feature that does the attacking and blocking for you to let you focus on giving commands is introduced with that in mind, however I don't think the two are exactly the same. I would closely compare this classic mode to something like Xenoblade Chronicles 2's, with how you and the enemy are still being active it's just a lot of the work is done for you. And with this mode also setting the combat to easy, it feels to me like an easier way to bust through the game without doing much rather than a system comparable to a turn-based one. I did also try the easy mode without classing mode on and personally preferred that as it felt like I was at least doing more. And I'd probably only use classic mode maybe if I was feeling really lazy about level grinding. But from this demo, it's likely I'll just play on normal as it had a good amount of challenge and I generally like that all these modes were included. Since now I've chosen the one I like, it's one less thing to think about when I start the full game. The demo isn't just pretty cinematic story and combat though, although it sure is pretty. The demo also shows off some cool exploration like going across bars or doing timed missions that added some nice variation to what was a more linear mission in this demo. Also adding variation were multiple music tracks, some I recognized as iconic Final Fantasy VII tracks but with a new orchestral arrangement, and as someone with no attachment to the tracks in their original versions, I loved these big exciting orchestral arrangements and can't wait to hear more, and some of the melodies are already stuck in my head. The final thing I want to say I enjoyed is the script. As someone who enjoyed the banter in Final Fantasy XV while running through big areas, I like how this continued in Seven, especially with this group of characters I don't really know, as it let me get an idea of their relationships more. Things like Biggs and Jesse's conversation together at the beginning showed a kind of camaraderie between them, and all the little jabs that Barrett sends Cloud's way with Cloud's air of general disinterest was a good way to get a glimpse into what these characters' personalities are like. I don't know how much we'll see of these side conversations in the final game, but it did make me feel good about spending more time in the world, so with the characters, combat, and everything in between, as I like demos to do, I think this one showed off everything well in its 40 minute runtime that made me feel good about buying it next month. So until then, I'm patiently waiting, but I'm glad to feel like I'll enjoy most of the main elements of the final game. 
While the waiting train is still going for a few weeks, Final Fantasy VII Remake's demo is a good way to get to know if it's what you want out of the game. It shows just enough of what I wanted to see since I could try the combat and see if it was as great and as smooth as it looked in previews. I could meet some of the characters and even play with Barrett a little and see that exploration and boss battles are ready to spice things up when needed, along with its cinematic gorgeousness that I'm looking forward to witnessing this classic story in. It's not a detailed demo in all these things, but I actually like that since I can have a lot left unspoiled for the full game, which this demo very much has solidified my decision to pick up. So if you want a taste of the game or are on the fence about it, this demo is 40 minutes well spent and I think is worth a look if any of the trailers interested you or if you want to see how it differs from the original. And until next month, I'm glad I can have this experience in mind to keep me excited about it finally releasing. Thank you for watching this video, let me know in the comments below if you tried the Final Fantasy VII Remake, and if you have, what did you think of it, and if you'll be picking it up next month. You can like and share this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel for more JRPG content like this, and ring that bell to get notifications on whenever I post so you don't miss a thing. You can check out more videos here, and you can find me on social media, on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, all at JRPG Jungle. Links to those will be in the description below, and until next time, thank you, bye!